ask me the question, hey, Dr. Carl, what's the most important thing about telling a joke? What's the most important thing about telling... Timing. See, I said timing too soon. <laughs> Little kids, big talk. Our planet. Hi, my name's called Lockie. Hi, Dr. Lockie. Hello, I'm Leon. Dr. Leon, good morning. I'm Dr. Carl. And what's your name? Kaleon Zali. Dr. Khalil and? Dr. Zali. Dr. Zali. What? You know how people have been littering? Mm hmm. Trash cans, soda cans, plastic cups and plastic bags? Yep. They just think it's okay when it's not. We just put it in the bin by ourselves. And how old are you now? Five. Even though you're five years old, you've learned how to put rubbish in the bin. Do you know there's some adults who somehow have forgotten that rubbish goes in the bin, that you shouldn't litter. I know it's hard to believe, isn't it? Where does all of our rubbish go? Well, the standard answer is away, but if you've got just one planet that you're living on, there is no away. So we put some of it into what's called landfill, where you dig a big hole in the ground, and basically it's going to be there for thousands of years. Do you think climate change caused the bushfires? Climate change was a very big part of the bushfires, which in 2019-20 burnt one-fifth of all the forests in Australia, including rainforests, which had never burnt before. The other part of it was the loss of the indigenous knowledge about bushfires. That makes me sad. Me too. And everybody is sad because the trees are dead and the trees are ours. The trees are Aboriginal family and us. The unlovely thing is to, what, what to have is we're hurting nature. It's ridiculous because nature is our home and we are part of nature, and yet we're damaging nature. It's like setting fire to your own house. Do you find that kind of crazy? Why, why do people, why are we doing that? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, do, you, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? A very bad thing. Or to use your words, unlovely. All the leftover cardboard, I get it and I make stuff, some stuff out of it. Ah. We're creative. Well, we recycle air. So I can guarantee that some of the atoms of oxygen that are coming into my lungs right now, millions of years ago, came out of the lungs of a dinosaur. When the water rises, um, how many people have to leave their homes? Most of the world's population lives within 50 kilometres of the ocean. And so a large number of people will be affected if the water level rises, if we allow global warming to go on. Isn't it nice to be able to know everything? I wish I knew everything. I do. And me, Zoe. What changes to the climate in Australia might I see in my lifetime? It all depends on what we do in the next 10 or 20 years. Okay. With the technology that we have today, we can both stop and reverse climate change and carbon dioxide levels and bring both of them back to what they were in the 20th century. Can I be a scientist when I grow up? Well, the fact that you're asking a question means that you're already a scientist. You see, science is not a bunch of facts. It's trying to understand the world around you. You be a doctor like him. I mean, you be a doctor. I want to be a cop. When I grow up, I want to be a pirate. A pirate? But I want to be a friendly one. I would like to see everything go back to normal, no COVID or anything bad happen. And I would also like if um, everyone that has COVID would be better. I declare a revolution for a school clean up day. Everybody in my school has to clean up so we can clean up our lives and our ocean. Oh. What a wonderful goal. Thank you, Dr. Kai. You're the best. Oh, shucks. You are the best. Thank you so much. You're very kind. Thank you. Thank you.